Hi there. And these comments are for your username at my Voxipop discussion group is onchen2008. And you completed my independent speaking practice test number three. So let's take a look at what this question is first. So upon your death, what valuable object or material possession would you consider giving to a friend or family member? Why would you want your friend or family member to inherit this object? So notice two things here. The object that you want to speak about is singular. And then the friend or family member that you need to talk about is also singular. It means you have to have a very specific focus to this particular idea. All right? Okay, so first of all, the for two very important reasons, I would move away from that type of topic statement in the beginning. That's a very predictable, unoriginal way to start the speech and it's not really demonstrating what we call good sentence variety or complex grammar. So you can go to my speaking lesson number two and you can learn more about how to create a more sharply focused topic statement. <laughs> My grandparents passed away. My parents lost the property, and uh, they were really happy with it. The only important reason is that um, some members have lost the property. Now, the other important reason about what? The other important reason why this is a valuable object, right? Okay, this wasn't a really, really clear recording, I'll be honest with you, so uh, let me go get my headphones. I'm going to listen to it one more time to give you a very accurate assessment of what you did. Hold on a second. Okay, let me listen to it one more time. Try to give you some more feedback on this. Okay, I think you said house. Let me listen again. Okay. Now, I, I think you have to go back to this question for just a minute, on Chan. So if we go back to the question, when you say the other important reason, the question here is what object or possession would you consider giving to a friend or family member upon your death and why would you want your friend or family member to inherit this object? When you say in-house, you mean in a house, right? So don't forget those articles, the a and or the, before your count nouns. Uh, the other thing is, when you, when, you, when you talk about a friend or family member, you should be more specific. Would you like to give this object to your mother, to your father, your grandfather? Would you like to give it to your son or your daughter? And then why would you want this person to have the object? Okay, so I, I think you could have 
probably done a little bit better job answering this particular question. So the first part of it is the object, which is a house, and then who would you want to give this to? Which particular family member would you like to give it to? So uh, I think you could have more directly uh, answered this task and also you sometimes speak what's called telegraphic type speech and what that means is is sometimes when you have nouns you might not be putting the articles before the nouns and things like that. Alright, let's take a look at the rubrics here. Uh, on this particular speaking task I'm going to put you at about 2.16 out of 4 or 17 points out of 30 in this particular practice test. Alright? Anyway, thank you very much for completing the practice test.